Hello, so in this AWS tutorial, I'm going to show you every time when file is added into an S3 bucket, a Lambda is going to get triggered, which is going to use the SES service to send an email to yourself again of uh, the name of the file and the bucket that it was uploaded into. I already have a tutorial of this first portion here of making the S3 bucket and the Lambda. If you want a more detailed explanation of doing this, you can go back and watch this tutorial, but you don't have to, you'll be able to follow along. I'm just gonna go a little bit quicker through these two. Without further ado, let's open up AWS. So I created an S3 bucket in my uh, previous tutorial. I'm not gonna do it again. Um, you can find a link to that tutorial, by the way, in the description and I'll also pin a comment and uh, put it somewhere on this video. So you'll find it somewhere. And then we also made a Lambda function. The Lambda function has a trigger, an S3 tri trigger. And then for our code, we didn't really do anything. We just left it as is. And uh, yeah, and then we also assigned some um, an IAM and we gave, we assigned this Lambda an IAM and we gave it Amazon S3 full access and Amazon Lambda basic execution role. So I'm going to keep using this S3 bucket, but let's make a brand new Lambda function and a brand new IAM role. All right. So first step, go create a function. Um, and we are going to need to assign uh, a new role. So before we can finish our Lambda function, let's go to IAM. So here I am, I'm going to click create role, AWS server service. Uh, for use case, we want Lambda, and go ahead and hit next. All right, so let's search all the stuff we're going to need for our role. We're going to need Amazon S3 full access. All right, that's one thing we'll need. We're going to need AWS Lambda basic execution role. So that's the second thing. And we've got one more thing for the email stuff. We're going to need Amazon SES full access. All right. So you see, we got three things selected. Those are the three things we need to go ahead and hit next, give it a role that you'll remember. I'll call it S3 email stuff. All right. And we'll go ahead and create our role. All right. S3 email stuff role. Cool. So make sure you remember whatever you named your role. And let's go back into our Lambda function. And I'm going to call this my Lambda tutorial. All right. All right. So we gave it a name and select use an existing role. Now we need to search. So we'll refresh this and we need to search for our role. So there we found it. S3 email stuff role. So that's the IAM we just created and we got everything here. So go ahead and click create function. All right. So our lambdas here, we need to add now a trigger. So the trigger is going to be every time a file is uploaded to our S3 bucket, we want it to get triggered. So select S3, uh, select our bucket. So I called that my bucket, my fun bucket test. Uh, event type, event type, we are just going to want the put event. So that's put is going to trigger whenever someone uploads a file into our bucket. And then you just need to acknowledge this, um, that you shouldn't use both inputs and outputs to the same bucket, or you could potentially end up paying a lot of money. So yeah, just acknowledge that. All right, so go ahead and click add. All right, so you'll see your trigger right there. All right, so next thing, Let's do the SES. So that's the email portion of it. So we'll open up a new tab and go ahead and search SES. So there we go. Amazon simple email service. That's what we want. Open that up and we'll click create identity. And then for identity type, we want email address. All right. So enter in the e our email address All right. and hit create. All right, so now that we got our SES, let's go back into our Lambda. Let's go to the code section. So we entered in our email, we made an identity. Uh, next, 
here is a notepad with some code I'm already pre-made. So we are just going to copy and paste this code right in there. Enter in uh, your email address, the one you entered. Right, so I'm just going to comment out bucket and file name just for this first time to make sure the email's working. Test. So just click save. Call it an event, whatever you want to call it. Save. Test. Ah, I messed up my tab. So give me a second while I fix that up. So operation failed email address not. Okay, so I have to go to my email and just verify it. Okay, now that my email got verified from that SES, let's try it again. Let's go check my email. Okay, we got the email. Very nice, very nice. Let's now uncomment this stuff. So I'm going to add these back in. So we have bucket file name and then we're going to concat bucket to here we've got another bucket here and then file name here so click deploy and i'll quickly run through this code so we have boto3 it's like amazon's sdk um, we use it a lot with aws stuff so we have a bucket and then we're going to go through um all these um, record zero S3 and this stuff going through the event through all these levels should get us to the bucket. Same thing for file name. We go through the event and this should get us the file name. We have our uh, Boto3 SES client. All right, now we have our subject of the email. So I'm gonna make the subject new file added to, and then we'll put the bucket and then we'll have body and it'll be a file called and we'll have the file file name has been uploaded to the bucket and then we'll have the bucket and then the rest of this is just to send the email so should be all good now let us test this out by going to the um, s3 uh, bucket and uploading a file in here so we'll go ahead click add files and going to upload this file data.csv click upload and let's see if we get a new email oh it looks like i may have had a bit of a typo here so we'll put file name make sure these two match up um all right let's try that one more time we'll go back to our s3 bucket um click upload we'll add a file we'll upload a new file all right click upload all right the file's been uploaded all right wow it's actually working so i'm back in my email and look at this new message new file added to my fun bucket test. And we have a file called combine stuff XLSX has been uploaded to the bucket, my fun bucket test. So how cool is that? We now have whenever uh, someone, something is uploaded to the S3 bucket, we can trigger this Lambda to run. And then this Lambda is going to send out this email using this SES service and you can send it out.